so so Olivia made a great post uh, that kind of gives kind of the, the overview of it. And then Mitch made a really good post as well. That's more of like a walkthrough or more more of like a, a how to without without so much of the why. Token log, quadratic voting, scary stuff, right? No, it's not scary at all. Go to this link and Mitch walks you right through everything. You can just click token log and uh, you'll have to actually uh, connect to token log. So to connect to token log, I'm already connected. Oh, but look, oh, check your Web3 provider. This needs to be on XDAI. So once you've connected to XDAI, you'll actually get uh, a mix of, uh, you'll get some voting power token. So I'm connected, it's on XDAI. It says I have no voting power. Oh, there it is. See, I have a lot of voting power points, 8.8%. Uh, Not bad. Uh, but these voting power points are your actual voting tokens. So you'll have a uh, 50% weight for C-Stack tokens, which is where I get all my voting power, and uh, also a 50% weight for impact hour tokens. So when you come in here and you're like, oh, cool, there's some things I could vote on. You, to actually see what you're voting on, you wanna click this, this little number here. So this is my proposal. And maybe as you're looking at it, you're like, TEC will advance token engineering, cementing it as a legitimate field. Cementing kind of, I don't like the cement word. Consolidating. I love that. It's, it's perfect, actually. So I'm just going to make a comment. Hey, I don't like cement, you know? So, okay, well, you know what? But the rest of the vision is great. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it in my Google Doc, my iteration. Okay, cool. So this is my new new vision. Now, maybe there's another one. I, I remember really liking uh, Livia's values. So I'm going to go in here and be like, oh, yeah, you know, here's this. Okay, this is, see, I really like this. So I'm going to make note for the vision from Grant from number six. And when you put this number sign, it automatically knows the issue number. So the first one was number six. Values from number four. And I'm not gonna change a thing. I thought Olivia did a great job with those. And let's see, ooh, your choice or economy. Let's see what this one is. I haven't even read this one. Freedoms. Yeah, this mission looks great. That sounds great. Okay, I'm not gonna change a thing. Uh, and we'll just say mission from. And actually, there's one more little trick. We're just gonna go like this and click edit and steal all the markdown uh, stuff that's already there. So now I can go to the token log and click new issue here. Ooh, new choose. Yeah, let's get started. And then you just click submit new issue. And now issue number nine has been created. Yeah, there it is. Wow, so fast. Great work, Wesley. Well, and you know, since it is my submission, I should probably vote for it. Uh, yeah. We'll vote. And you can see that nine votes cost 81 token. Right? It's good old quadratic voting. You notice that I already voted for my own submission, so now to add these extra votes, it costs a lot of votes. To add four votes to my submission, because I already voted, it's gonna cost 2,800, geez. And how, do, how do you know how many votes you have out of your CSDK tokens and impact towers that, that show up up there? So it, it tells you right here when you're voting uh, this this number. Okay, okay. So adding that those votes, I already voted for Livia's. Um, yeah, and that's that's the game. <laughs>